I told my boy, we was having a great conversation about this. And we were talking about dating. And I just said, bro, like, it's just, it's different now. Because I feel the same about women as you do about men. Because I look at what it's cost. Because, see, they may, they know the <sighs> price, but they don't know what, it's, what it costs, yeah. what we had to pay for it. Because, see, to really go through healing is beyond this bull crap of reading a post, sitting in a tub, getting a massage. That ain't healing. That ain't healing at all. That, that healing is really what you said. Okay, mama, this is what I got to deal with from your side. Dad, this is what I got to deal with your side. And then this is what I got to deal from what myself. And then you got to go back generations to see what grandmom and granddaddy dealt with. Listen. Check my list Will you honey there is Toss strong your chin So nice man you gotta have all of this Are you good with kids? Cause I got three of them Don't want any more but if you love me I might give in Hold up wait a minute Are you single tell the truth Cause if you gotta go I've those dreams I cannot do Are you funny? To laugh, hoping not too sensitive Cause I go tick for tat oh, 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 I just wanna be myself It's hard to find someone who loves Everything I am Oh, 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 oh. You got me feeling lovey-dovey I got two words for you Hello, happy Okay, first off, did y'all like my new introduction? That was cool. I love it. Thank you so much, Latarius. I'm sure I looked great. Ah. All right, so listen. Um, you know, I don't do situationships, so subscribe. And I really want to jump right in because I have a very special guest. And um, as you can see, his book is here. I'm sure you have seen him absolutely everywhere. Um, he is going around the world and gathering men and just encouraging them to do the work that he's already started, that he's um, currently in. And this finished product that all of us are gleaning from is that of Jay Burnett. And I am so thrilled to have so, you Miss Jessica. Hi. I'm so excited to be Thank you. on Hello Hubby. Yes. Yes. As I was here, somebody said, Jay, you are a husband. I was like, whoa, what does that mean? Who said this? A friend of mine. Said I was telling him I was doing your podcast. He's uh -huh. like, yeah, I know Jessica. I said, yeah, I'm getting ready to do Hello Hubby. And he was like, you know you're a husband, right? You're, like, you're a husband? Yeah. You are the husband template. No, no, I, I wouldn't say that. I, I, I would say probably a husband in function. Okay. More so than title. Okay. Because I don't have the title yet. So You don't have the title. Yeah, but I, I, I do have the functioning. And so and, I, and I, I guess what, that's what, what they is were the saying. What is the functioning of a well, husband? Well, the, the the functioning of a husband, I believe, it's 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 understanding balance of masculinity, understanding balance of manhood, but also understanding balance of sensitivity, because mm -hmm. all all of those elements you have to be able to exude as a husband. I agree. You have to know when to roar. You have to know when to be silent. You have to know when to. Uh, engage to be compassionate you have to know when to uh open yourself up to be receptive to um new information i don't like the word criticism i like feedback because mm -hmm. different words mean different things for different people but i think when you understand as a husband you also understand too a level of sacrifice that you have to make Absolutely. right if we're going to jump into biblical terms jesus talks about you know being we being a bride and the great sacrifice was god giving up his son and I think as a husband, you understand there's a sacrifice of dying to yourself. I agree. Right? To, uh, for the betterment of your family. But also in that, I want to make sure I echo this. For men that are watching, dying to yourself does not mean losing yourself. Mm -hmm. so That's wanna, very good. So Because sometimes as men, I think that we have often got caught up in making sure that the family was good, the wife was good, but we were not good. And so I think that's important that men understand that in the, in the functioning of a husband, mm -hmm. 
is that as you are concerned about everyone else, you're also concerned about yourself first. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so Jay. Yes. You know, I'm pretty honest, you know, straightforward. You just kind of got a snippet of that, and I want to talk about it. So okay. yeah. When when you walked in, uh-huh. I, I, I met you big arms open wide. Yeah. Right? Big arms open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I did, didn't I? I I came like this, then I said, hey, what did you do, Jay? Oh, I was just kind of like, whoa. No, don't whoa me. Do do what you did, Jay. Oh, the whoa is is my tense. Do the face. Oh, I didn't know what I was doing with my face. I'm going to show you what you did with your face. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that that hurt, So, okay, I apologize if that hurt No, don't apologize. No, don't just try to do this. I apologize. No. So, for for the listeners. All right. For the listeners. Here, here, here's what happened. Okay. Jessica did come with open arms. Big smile, big smile. Did big you feel smile. it was genuine? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the question yeah. is not whether it was not genuine at all. Uh-huh. I think for me, I wasn't ready for that. And I think uh, one of the things that I do with you know being uh, a brother to three sisters and mm-hmm. and having a bunch of aunts, I think I'm always just kind of cautious on that. Nothing against you. Mm-hmm. Because I think even when I'm out speaking and a woman comes up a hug, I'm always a little kind of like um, apprehensive. And the apprehension is not like I don't want to hug. It's just kind of like because I think to engage into someone else's space, there's also, there, there, there has to be a level of comfort within yourself as well to where you feel comfortable. Okay. Because what's comfortable for, for you may not be comfort for me and vice versa. I understand. And so it wasn't a thing against you. It was just more like I wasn't ready for it because – you, you know what I mean? It's almost like, you know, I always approach women with the with the handshake until they say, hey, I do hugs. But when you said, I said, oh, you do hugs, you was like, yeah, I do yeah, your hugs. Your face didn't change. And then Your face I didn't change. You, you, the hug, the yeah, hug I hurt me. The hug hurt me as much as the, the handshake. The okay. hug hurt me as much as the handshake. Don't okay. okay. No, 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 Jay, it hurt. Okay, I, 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 can, I can hold space for your hurt and uh, see, apologize. See, no, 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 hold no space for my hurt. No, Jay. I, I hey. think you just want to hold on to this, Jessica. No, I want us to address it. I, we are. Oh, you know what you're doing right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you, one point for you. I'm sick of this. <laughs> you're oh. winning. And you're making me look crazy. <laughs> No. I hate it. All right, one point for you. Oh, okay. Jay. Yes, ma'am. You have stressed me. Oh, <laughs> we have even started. All right. So, Jay, this is what I want to talk about. Okay. I want to talk about the healing. Okay. Um, that's what I'm doing. Um, for the most part, I've healed from a lot of traumas because I'm very honest with myself. When I don't have the muscle that should be developed, if it's not developed, I'm asking questions. I'm like, yo, look, I'm a fixer. What do you think about that? No, nah, don't be no fixer. You can't fix no girl. Oh, God, that hurt. All right, cool. I need to make the adjustment. I'm not the type to be so right in my own way. Mm-hmm. I really want to not only be a good person, but be the God person. You know what I mean? I want God to be so happy with my maturity and my growth. Here's what I don't understand. I say my picker is off, right? I don't go out. When I go out, I go wherever the kids can go, to the grocery store or something like that. Those are good places, to be honest. Yeah, for some reason. And they're actually great great places to meet people. Yeah, I I must be going at the wrong times. Try Whole Um, Foods. I do. Whole Foods, Central Market. Yeah, wrong times, wrong times. Um, So my thing is, you as a a man, this Mm -hmm. husband man, First, what is your type? What is my type? Oh, yeah. that's a good question, Jessica. <sighs> <sighs> so, um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I, I I I have a type. I will say I do like athletic women. Mm. I like women. I was, a, you know, I play ball, so I, I love women who work out. I love women who take care of their bodies, and and um, I, I I like an athletic shape woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was in college, I dated track. Girls, I mean, you know, hoopers, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I dated athletic women. So if, if, if I'm going to say a type, mm-hmm. I'm going to say that would be my type for as as far as a body preference, okay. per se. Um, I think when I think of type, I, I think about everything that constitutes 
what I want as a man from uh, a woman um, and from that ex experience. Um, I grew up with a mother who's very dominant, very strong willed. Um, my mom, you know, she she had a mouth on her, you know, she still do. <laughs> so and so uh, and my dad was very mild mannered, but um, a, a man of few words, but a man who was very wise. Mm -hmm. So typically what most men who grow up in households like that either look for women who are very quiet um, some can be either docile or some can be very just kind of, you know, eh, kind of go with the flow. But that's that's not me. But I, I, I look for a woman with silent confidence mm -hmm. because that's what I exude. Um, most of my buddies, uh, my boys around me would tell you, like, I'm not a very, you know, I know that my presence uh, speaks louder than myself. But mm -hmm. I think for the most part. I like silent confidence. I like a woman who is sure of herself. And that doesn't mean that she has it together because sometimes that's the misconception that the woman that's confident and the woman that, you know, that thinks the most about herself, that she has it all together. Just know that she is, uh, she, she is assured within her abilities. Mm -hmm. She's assured within her talents and gifts and the development of her character. And so for me, though, that that's what my type is. Uh, whenever I've dated girls that was kind of here, I, I, I just can't. You know what I mean? Like my parents argued and fought a lot, man. I, I just I can't do it. You know, I'm the type of person when that happens, I shut down and I would tell a woman if it goes here, like I'm probably going to shut down. And for me, it's because when I saw my parents argue and fight and do all of that, no one hurt each other. And I so I, and I, and I think <clears throat> in a lot of relationships, it's always one sided for the most part. When you look at people who can't communicate effectively, I think there's a lot of talking that goes on in relationships, but uh, not a lot of communicating. And the communication is where I'm able to express, you're able to receive and you're able to express, you're able to receive. But then we want to hold space for interpretation. Mm -hmm. because I want to know what did you hear? Because three things I believe that are happening when you are talking or communicating is what was said, what was heard and what they interpreted. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, for me that that's important because, you know, there's enough that's going on in the world today than to just have this battle. And I think, and I've said this previously, I think so many of us are so accustomed to pain and so accustomed to drama and just so accustomed to the fight for love that to be in a place of quietness and stillness in a relationship is it's unbeknown to so many people. Yeah. And they actually look for things like, oh, it's got to be like, I got to find something. And so I like peace. That's wonderful. You know what I'm saying? I, I, peace <clears throat> is everything. And, and for me, peace, peace comes with understanding. Mm -hmm. Peace has solitude. Um, Peace has compassion. So there's so many different things that comes with peace. I like what uh, Mother Teresa said. She said, God is a friend to the God is a friend to stillness, solitude, and silence. And I think when a person can get that within themselves, mm -hmm. then you are able to provide that in the space of relationship. Because there, there will be times where you both won't say anything, especially in a moment of disagreement and conflict. And that's one thing that I I have really worked well to do is understanding conflict and resolution, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of like what our thing, right? You know that we had going on this little banner banter earlier, because I wanted you to feel heard, right? Mm -hmm. And then once I heard you, then I was able to say, okay, this is what I meant, because so many because so many times things are happening, mm -hmm. right? When people are experiencing something, it can feel like something, and so I think it's important for there to always be a uh, space to just to get understanding. And once there's understanding, it's like, all right, we can move forward. So again, Hello Hubby is about me. And and with me finding me, it helps other people. Right. But I'm I don't know how to gear it towards other people and not get what I need. Yeah, absolutely. I have had this opportunity to meet people. And interact with them. Some I've, I've had children. And I've had horrible experiences but amazing lessons about mm, myself. I like that. I've, I've 
you know, of course went through the journey of the heartbreak and the disappointment. But I'm the type of person that always says, if it happened to me, God, you wanted me to participate and see for me. Mm -hmm. I can't point no fingers. I like to say I put myself in a room full of mirrors in every situation. It's just me here. I had an experience. Now, what did it just show about Jessica? Am I triggered? Um, am I now operating at a level I've graduated from? Am I trying to pull up dead weight? Am I afraid to fly? Am I content being at this new space of heal? I'm not that no more. You know, and just making those transitions, being in that room full of mirrors, it helps me. And one thing that I, I love that I can agree with you is peace. I hate fighting. I hate confrontation. And once upon a time, I used to fight to be heard yeah. because I felt so misunderstood. So I'm like, you're wrong. This isn't really, you know, it's just, yeah. but I, I, at this point, I'd be like, we can crack a couple of jokes, but at the end of the day, I really don't care, I don't think. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, com but, but confrontation is good, though. It's good confrontation, it's, of it's, course. It's good. I, but I as think, far as like, like yeah. really, uh, I don't yeah. want it. I, yeah. I can do it. I don't want it. Yeah. You get well, what I'm I, saying? I think, too, part of that is look at the, the, the development that many of us have and what's been modeled before us, mm. right? I mean, you look at where we are now, you know, the mental health uh, conversations are emerging. People are talking about relationships. People are talking about masculinity. People are talking about femininity. So there are so many different things that we that we miss. I know I grew up, my dad's a pastor, and so my parents were, were leaders. And I look at their relationship. I look at their relationships around others. No one really had the right tools. Yeah. So people did either what they saw or mm -hmm. they did what, you know, they thought What's that the they right should do. do. Yeah. What was the right thing to do? And so there, there, there were no real models. And I think what you are doing and, and what I have the opportunity to do is we have the opportunity to deconstruct people's models. Mm -hmm. And we have the opportunity to do that through showing ourselves. Absolutely. And through revealing our lessons, uh, revealing our insights and, and 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 new perspectives and also new information. Because I think a lot of us take old information into these different relationships, into these different dynamics in life. And then you get there and you realize, hey, this doesn't serve me for now. So it's almost like trying to, you know, use uh, something that we used back in the late 80s. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, yeah, it's effective. Yeah, it works. But it may not be effective in current times. Yeah. And so, and, yeah. and it's just, and, and, and two, it's being open. So like, I be wanting to know like the practical. I must, I'm very complex. I'm a very complex mind. I think about the thoughts. You're an artist. That's why. Yes. Yes. But then I also feel, so I care about what others care about. Like what hurts you. So you're you. an empath. I am. Deeply, like it is, it's uh, who is drag sometimes. Uh. So, with that, I like practic practicality because I, I want to help people. You know what I mean? Where I am now, Jay, the air is so thin, but it is so refreshing. It feels so good. I feel good about myself. I, I've never been here. Um, so I'm going to ask you a question. What is please. that like for you? Oh, my gosh. It's not scary. It's all good feels. It's it's a place of finally. <sighs> you know, it's like I've been, I've been swimming from the bottom of the ocean for years. Like, I know there's a top. Right. And, of course, there were moments that I was like, I can't make it up there. It's too far. It feels too heavy. My arms are tired. But God has given me this strength. And I kept swimming. I finally said, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like it exists. You're asking for air. You finally get air. You know what I mean? It feels like it exists. It feels like finally me. And now that I'm here, I'm not perfect. Now that I'm here, I'm not all the way whole. But I'm here. 
And now I can look and see what needs to be worked on. I don't feel the weight of the opinions of my family. I don't feel the, I need to be cookie cutter for the world. I don't feel, all of that was the ocean soot that I, I was trying to sift through. You know what I do? Right, the, right. the seaweed of the ocean. I'm like trying, I'm tangled up. I don't feel that. Now I'm, I'm like, okay, now I'm naked. All right, let's look at this, Jessica. Okay, so when it comes to this childhood part, how you feel? All right, I think we did our healing there. During the process of coming up, the only way I could be free, I had to let some stuff go. Absolutely. All right, cool. That's good. How you feel about this? So I'm looking at me. Yeah. And I'm getting even closer and closer to the shore. I'm above the water and I'm breathing. But now I got a new goal. There's a land there. You know what I mean? The first goal was to just get yeah, out of the water. Yeah. Just let me get my head above the water. Yeah. Now I'm looking at land and I'm like, Huh. That's the journey. Land. You know what I mean? And 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 though the swimming up was hard, I know the swimming too is still going to need work. It's, it, yeah. I, I have to exert this energy and this focus and this, will I be distracted? Sure. Will there be fish and sharks and different intimidations that will make me have to be still for a minute till they pass by? Maybe. But the journey to getting there is my focus. And... I just want to know where I'm going. Yeah. I want to know what to look for. I have dealt with the toxic man. I've dealt with the, the clever snake. I've dealt with the professional narcissist. I have encountered the top notch of evil. Like, these ain't no amateurs. I didn't have the best. Satan was saying, don't nah, you can't come. You too young. I need one of you ancient ones. <laughs> Go get. Yeah. I've had the best. I've not had. <laughs> they right. know what they're doing. And now to be like, hmm. So with those men, did they choose you or you chose them? They chose me. There you have it. So, and here's why I'm saying that. Now where you are, you can choose. Yeah. And I think we don't realize the power we have once we heal. Because you're now operating from a place where yes, you can so choose so based good, on Jay. what's for you. Jay, that's so good, Jay. I love it. That's <laughs> Ser good, okay? Ser seriously. That's so good. Seriously. They chose me, Jay. Exactly. And and so and what happened is is that when when people or things chooses us choose us and we don't recognize the power that we have to not choose it back, mm -hmm. we accept it. Yeah. And that's the thing that I love about this healing journey, even that, that I've been on, because I've been in relationships where they chose me. And what I mean was, OK, she was interested and, you know, and it's like, OK, I'm like, all right, she, you know, she checking for me. And it's like you entertain it. And before you know it, you're, you're in it. And, and it wasn't until my homeboy said, how, he said, he says, bro, I. He's like, dude, you've been dating people that you ain't chose. You chose, you allowed them to choose you because they like you. And you just kind of went with it. And when I stepped out of it, I was like, dang, bro, you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, because it's not that I didn't like her, but it's just, it wasn't, it wasn't a connection. Mm -hmm. And there was a connection based on a trauma bond or it was a connection based on, of, on an attachment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so. And now, being at this place, I can now choose based from a healed lens. Yeah, man. And, and I want to say this to people watching. Choosing from a healed lens, you're not looking for a perfect person. Mm -hmm. But you're looking for someone who has the ability to be self-aware. Yes. Or the awareness within self That's of them. All. Jay, That's this it. all, man. That's it. You understand? Yeah. Uh, listen. Jay, that's all. That's it. It ain't hard. It's like, just just... Are you are you able to put yourself, put it all on the table and say, I need to work on this. Yeah. I agree. This isn't good. Yeah. And I'm not going to accept it. Yeah. Let me work on that. Exactly. I even I even go as far as to say, like, I've I talked to a gentleman, um, not anymore, but I talked to this gentleman. I said, hey, like, we're on two different levels. Do you have the maturity to acknowledge that? Like, like you see Ooh. what the experience you're getting from me right now. Ooh. 
How, you, how you, did he take that? Not good. I know he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay, it didn't go good. Oh, I know Jay, he did. Jay, it didn't Ooh. go good, Jay. I know he was Jay, furious. it didn't go good, Jay. What did he say? Jay, I want to hear go, this. It didn't go good, Jay. Tell me, what did he say? He tried to listen at first, but you could see it. You could, you oh, could see man. something was rubbing up up in there. Something was like, huh? You know, it, and what ended up happening was I knew what I was saying. I told him, I said, look at the experience I am giving you. You cannot afford me the same experience. These are intangibles, though. I'm not asking to be flown out anywhere. I'm not asking for purses, nothing. I'm asking for what you cannot grab. You cannot meet me here. You and I are on two different levels. I said, can you acknowledge that? Are you mature enough to acknowledge Man. I'm in college and you in elementary school? Man. And you don't like learning Damn. from women. <laughs> I said, so Ooh. I said, can oh. we, can we, can we acknowledge? Oh. Cause for me, I was proud of me because I've always been able to see, I've always been able to know, but I never had the courage to just tell you, yeah. I'll be like, let me just help you. Yeah. Let me fix this. So, so you, you, you moved into a place where you found your voice. Yes. And what I said, uh, even in just heal bro for men, the man who finds his, find his voice finds himself. And it's so important for individuals to find their voice like you because I can now articulate and convey what it is yes. that I'm processing. And then I can convey from the perspective that I am considering myself yeah. because so many times we enter into relationships where we dishonor ourselves. Absolutely. We dishonor our feelings, we dishonor our emotions, mm -hmm. and we dishonor our thoughts to appease our partner, mm -hmm. to keep, quote unquote, keep the peace but it's yeah. really it's only creating more chaos it's because, only creating because more chaos. like you said it's hard for me to give in a place that doesn't have the capacity to receive what i have to give yeah so i end up overly performing i end up overly extending i, I mean, end up overly emphasizing overly is, explaining and it's making me look grand exactly. and it's because you're putting in little and it the problem and then their, and then their passivity. Oh my god! Because what what happens is you look grand, right? Because you are expounding, and then their passivity makes them feel inferior, yeah. and it's not. Yes, and not it's at just all. and it's just really they don't have the capacity have or the, capacity. the wherewithal to manage this is the true. level of growth this that you've true. made. This is true. And and so many times. Oh my God, I this have, is so good. Hey, give me some right there. <laughs> I've had to so educate good. people in, even in marriages and relationships, you know, where where are we going? Where are we going? Like, I can't, you know, and, I, and I'll say this, I can't, I can't date somebody just to be dating. Like, we got to be going yeah. somewhere. So look, so one time, um, having a conversation, and I'm a wife. Like, it's just, um, it's what it is. Like, I have finally accept it's what it is. I'm doped in the mud. I can't help that. I want God to be pleased with me. I work as though I'm working for the Lord. I try to do things in excellence. I care. I'm there. I'm that extra mile. It's me. Mm -hmm. It's me, man. I'm yeah. her, yeah. right? You thought about somebody, poof, I showed up, right. right? And I realized that I was talking to someone that spent more time pretending to be than actually being. And of course, the balance of me saying, you're not a good fit for me. I really want to help you see yourself, though. Somebody's not going to catch this. And you have the heart, though, to do it. You got a good heart. Hey, I know you want to marry me. Like say, of course, I don't want to marry you. Do you understand this? Wow. You're not there. How do you not see this? So let me ask you this. Uh -huh. When you when you say that, like, um, because for because I, I don't know how how brothers take it because because I be, and because I I'll tell people just because I tell ladies this just because a guy proposes to you mean doesn't you doesn't mean that you have to say yes. Number one. Uh, secondly, as a woman, I know, you know, I've been engaged twice, so, and I've been engaged I've, once and I've called it off twice and both persons have moved on married. And, and I believe they're who that, 
you know, who they're with. But I, I, I guess, you know, did you did you have some level of guilt when you said that? No, I See, felt I, extremely I, empowered. Like I felt like, listen, here's the deal, because I know that you saying, you know, what I'm saying when we get married, blah, 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 that's you planting the seed so that I can be prepared so you don't get the rejection in the event that you ever do. Oh, you wow. want me to already be marinated with the thought that this man wants to do forever with me. I get seed planted. I know when somebody's trying to be a farmer to me. Ooh. I got it. <laughs> I ain't tripping on you. Jessica says she knows somebody trying to farm her. I know you're trying her. to farm me. I get, I'm good ground, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good ground. I know when you're trying to plot on the girl. So yeah. I ain't tripping on it. But I want you to also know I'm a farmer. And I've been planting seeds and none of them are sprouting. <laughs> I've been watching all my seeds and I'm not looking at nothing but weeds. How? Ooh. You're not good ground. So here's the deal. This won't work. I know that there's areas I need to grow and I want to grow. You don't know there's areas that need to grow and yeah. you need to grow. Yeah. That's so good. we have a problem. Yeah. Your kind can't, we don't match. You and my kind and your kind, we have a lot of similarities. We, we did a lot of things the same, but I chose the light and you went dark. I chose truth and you went delusion and lie. I chose growth and you said, forget it. It is what it is. That can't work for a person like me. No. So, so my problem now is, though I'm proud of myself, what took me seven years in the past to finally boss up and be like, now that's it. Yeah. Now you ain't, I'm not that doing take, that no more. That, that now takes it, a while. Now it took me seven, eight months. But now yeah. I want to get it on down to yeah. a day, yeah. a week of well, like, I find I can see this ain't going to go where I want it right, to go yeah. on, on spot. And, and I'll tell you that the, the challenge in that is, especially for people like us, excuse me, people like ourselves, right? We, we have a platform. People have seen our stories. They read our articles. And, and for you, you know, they read your lyrics. They listened to your song. They cried. They, you know, they fell out slain. Like, I mean, because you, you're, you're an, uh, um, an anointed artist. But then that's also, right, this other part of us that's human. Mm -hmm. And what I talk about, it is the, you know, the Clark Kent of us all, right? Like, we, we have the S on our chest. But then there's the humanity side of us mm -hmm. that says, well, you know, to see who I am every day, I'm not an artist. To see who I am yeah. every day, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a speaker. I'm an author. I'm a man. You're a woman. And I think for so many people that, that, that there's a lot of people who are broken. Oh, my God. I mean, that, there's a lot of people who are unhealed, man. Yeah. Because I want you to think about this. Think about the work that it takes to look in the mirror and face your ugly truths. Nobody wants to do that. I think this, but that's my problem, Jay. Jay, I did it. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, we hard did it. for yeah, me, it Jay. It was hard. Yeah, it's like, hard. To, 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 to first off, have my legitimate reasons as to why this is my reaction. Right. Why I'm like this. Such and such did this. To, to have to say, that don't even matter. Hold yourself accountable. Yep. That was it's, painful. It's, it's painful. You telling me I can't blame the the real reason behind yep. the root? I didn't even plant this seed. Right now, I'm the one that has to put the work in to uproot it. Exactly. That's work. But my thing is, if I'm able to do it, yep. it's doable. It's doable. So and it's necessary. And it's necessary. So if you're gonna work as hard as you work to pretend to be. It literally is the same effort. The only difference is the, the outcome is the different. The outcome is different. People will feel it without you having to be super loud. And, uh, they'll be like, I want to be around you. Something about you feels nice. Yeah. It feels honest. It feels friendly. Maybe we don't date. Maybe we be friends. Maybe you just be a, a good bridge for me to cross whenever I need to get somewhere. Right. Whatever the, 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 the piece is, you just seem like village for me. Right, yeah. Good that's community. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's the problem I'm having. It's like we're all broken. Yeah. My father abused my mother, physically beat her almost every single day. My siblings and I had to walk two, three miles to school. Sometimes my father didn't wake up to take us to school. We were 5 a.m. 
cold winter in Michigan, walking in the dead yeah. snow, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13 years old, going to school. My father was murdered at our home that we lived in. Wow. Blood still there after the death. We didn't have money to clean carpet. And so I get the trauma. I get the brokenness. I get the, I have scars. I have it. It's me. You take my shirt off, I'm whipped up. I, I got my flag. But I have children. And either we repeat this thing, yeah. and maybe they have the courage to do it. Yeah. I'll go ahead and fight these demons that my mother didn't have the courage and my father didn't have the courage. Yep. My father had manic depression. My mother, extremely passive, this hard worker who men, my dad just took advantage of her. She gave and gave. And, so what? No, nah, I'm going to go ahead and own it. All right, mama. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> yep. Thank you, dad. That's why emotions are all over the place. Appreciate yep. it, man. Now, I got all y'all junk. And on yep. top of the junk that was already assigned to me just for yep. being a human, yep. just for being here. So I have y'all junk, my grandparents' junk, and yep. my junk. Will I be the generational curse breaker or not? Yeah. Otherwise, it falls on Justin. It falls on Abdullah. It falls on Hakeem. I can't let my kids face this. This is about to kill me. Yeah. So I don't know what it's going to do to them. Yeah. So if I can take the weight of generations and I'm the weaker vessel, imagine how I look at men. I be looking at men like, yeah. sir, you have never buried children. I had all three of my children, natural birth, no medicine. Oh, good So God. Nah. Who the weaker vessel? Prove to me. Show me. Yeah. Because all I, I don't even want you to deal with me. I want you to deal with you. you yeah. <laughs> and, and I would say, Jessica, to, uh, you know, um, and I've been, you know, following you for a while. And, and then, too, we've conversed offline several times. And, and just to watch you take that journey and to watch you evolve beyond. Yeah. And one of my kids said yesterday, uh, one of my clients, because I only see people virtually now, he said, Mr. J, you know, uh, I've mentally, he called it mental, mental evolution. And I was like, wow, I was writing that down. And he says, Mr. J, because um, he lost his mom. And so I worked with him on grief. And then we was doing some, some different stuff on confidence. But he says, Mr. J, it was mentally pulling myself out of this pit. And that's what you did, pull yourself out of the pit. That's what I did, pull myself out of this pit. Because I think what we did, Jessica, is we allowed ourselves to acknowledge that we were in a pit. Mm -hmm. And that's the first step to even yeah. beginning the journey. Because yeah. most people, as you said, they create this illusion. They're going to put this wallpaper, oh, this ain't no pit. This is, this is a five star yeah. hotel. Like I don't have an issue. They I'm got a, they a, got a, dirt making beds. Right, like exactly. ooh, yeah, <laughs> fake yeah. pillows. They gonna what they gonna do is I'm gonna go get this degree. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get this job. I'm gonna go get this bad wife. I'm gonna go get this wealthy husband. I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna go get the new body. So what they're doing is they're replacing these substitutes rather than acknowledging that now nah, I'm in a pit and this pit is filled with all of yeah. these things of dysfunction, unhealthy, yeah. toxic, deadly, yeah. exhausting, all of these different things. And the, the majority of the people, I've had people come in therapy and say to me, bro, I can't, this is too much. And you also have people that will look around and see the pit and just say, nah, man, I'm gonna act like the pit don't exist because you can turn their brain off and function on autopilot mm -hmm. like nothing's happened. I'm telling you. And you can just move through life like the trauma didn't happen, like the abuse didn't happen, the molestation didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the, 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 the events and the experiences that took place, you can turn your brain off. And what happened is I believe so many people have turned their brains off and tried to live beyond the trauma that they've only caused more trauma. That's odd. They hurting and breaking people they, along exactly, the way. Exactly. It only caused more trauma. And and I understand where you are because I told my boy, we was having a great conversation about this. And we were talking about dating. I just said, bro, like, it's just, it's different now because I feel the same about women as you do about men. Because I look at what it's cost. Because see, they, may, they know the <sighs> price 
but they don't know what it's what it costs, yeah. what we had to pay for it. Cause see, to really go through healing, it's beyond this bull crap of reading a post, sitting in a tub, getting a massage. That ain't healing. That ain't healing at all. That that healing is really what you said. Okay, mama, this is what I got to deal with from your side. Dad, this is what I got to deal with your side. And then this is what I got to deal from what myself. And then you got to go back generations to see what grandmom and granddaddy dealt with. Listen. Because it runs the, deep. It, no, no. Let, it was heavy on my mama because my grandma didn't deal with it. Exactly. You get what I mean? It, it only grows. It magnifies until somebody say, all right, yep. I'm going to be the last one. I'm the sacrificial lamb. And watching my children, Jay, and, and, and my oldest especially, he's had to grow with me. I, had to, I got pregnant at 18. That boy at 19 years old, I didn't know. So I made the choice to be a parent and go full in. So that means he's watching my evolution. My only prayer, and, and I was just telling Justin this the other night. I said, son, when I had you, I said, mommy was so scared. I said, you know, the only prayer I prayed, God, please, please protect this boy from me. It's the wow. only thing I could pray because I knew that I was special, but I knew there was things that kept me up at night. They wanted me to be manically depressed. I was suicidal. I, I self-sabotaged. I always thought negative. I'm like, why? I, I feel special, but at the same time, I don't feel, feel good at feel all. good at all, yeah. Who is this? Why yeah. is this? The baby is here. Who is this kid? I had a future. Now I don't have a future. And I learned to, I started learning to be quiet inside. Like my wheels would go this fast. And I had to wait until they slowed down. And then when they were slow, I'm like, now that voice, what's that? It would be like calm water. Calm down, Jessica. Everything's taken care of. That's that stillness. And being on this journey, of course, I still want to help people. I be wanting to fix. And I be like. I always put it in my mind, like, I used to. I don't do it no more. But I would put it in my mind. If I encountered you and I didn't change you, ah, dang, I don't want to send you out to another woman because you're going to break her. Yeah. Because I'm strong than a mug. Right. No, you got a real one. You didn't know it. You let the smile fool you. I'm gentle and I'm sweet. But I'm a beast in this thing. Like, I'm not new. Right. Like I don't fought demons on this. Like yeah. we we at this thing. Like that warfare real. I'm I'm I am not I'm not no pushover for right. real for real. Right. The truth of the matter is, I have a large capacity for mm-hmm. your bull. I'm not easily swayed. I can take it a little bit. What you yeah. say? Well, oh, that was inappropriate. Don't say that again. Yeah. I got I got space for it. Yeah. But the beauty in that space is that now, you can choose. Yeah. Now, that's where I'm at now. You can choose. Jay, like, I got space for it. But I don't want to. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. I don't have to. Yeah. That's where that's, I am. That is the new aha moment. Yes. And that's the heal yeah. version that you can see something and you can see how you possibly can insert yourself and possibly make it better. Yeah. But the heal version, because you now understand unhealthy attachments and you now understand codependencies, yeah. right? And you just kind of like, Nah, I don't have, because again, I tell clients all the time, man, Jay, you're doing this, you're helping people heal. Man, I'm not, I'm not the Messiah. I help facilitate, can help guide, can help lead, provide insight, because I had that same thing, especially when you grow up, you know, in church, man, yeah. you feel like, man, that's the godly thing to do, right? You know, I got to help everyone. But then when you start to understand, oh, wait a minute, even Jesus had boundaries. He did. There was times when he was like, hey, y'all. I can't heal y'all. Yeah, y'all stay right here. <laughs> and, th- and there were times where, you know, they would be trying to take Jesus mm-hmm. these different places. And Jesus was like, no, I'm on my way here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so he had these boundaries even when he got away to pray. That was a boundary, you know? And and think about it. He never let them come to his private time. That was his time. That was mm-hmm. his space. And so I think where we are now is in a place where we really need to educate people on connecting so the dots from a healthy perspective 
as it pertains to our spirituality and our mental health and, and the, the series that I just was a part of that released in October, Jesus in Therapy, it was so powerful because I think so many believers, they're going to go to heaven because their spirit is saved, but a lot of them is not having a, the life of abundance. Not here on earth. Not here on earth. Yeah. They're, they're not having abundance in relationships, mm -hmm. abundance in, in their job, their careers, yeah. just in overall in life mm -hmm. because – we don't really have an understanding that just because I can take pain don't mean I have to choose pain. That's the hey, AJ, hey, hey, hey talk my language, man. Look at here. Like where I'm at now, this last relationship was so toxic. It was it was so toxic. It was like, I'm not shook by it. I've grown. I'm above it looking at it like this is unnecessary. Mm-hmm. And and as as bad as it got, I was so proud of me. Yeah, that's good. Because I had been doing work. Yeah. I had been exercising new muscles and they yeah. got stronger. Like, I maintained. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I beefed up a few times, like, just to let you know it's in there. Hey, yeah. watch out now. Well, hey, don't get nothing on you. But for the most part, good job, Jess. Yeah. Check that one off your list. Now, here's the deal. This is the new epiphany I've gotten, Jay. Now, help me on this one. What I've realized is I outrank myself. So my ranking went up. Mm -hmm. I can't go too far under. You yeah. literally have to be just yeah. under me. Yeah. But for the most part, either here or above. Oh, above. Yeah. And the only people that can help those who are under are those who are nearby. Yeah. It can't be too high. Yeah. Reaching down low no. because the the drag of the it drag, all, yeah. it it literally tilts your bucket till yeah. everything spills over. Yeah. All that you've accumulated, yes. all of this growth, yes. you find yourself cussing like you yeah. just started this thing. You find yourself fighting yeah. like you in the hood again. You find yourself mad. You yeah. ready to like go there? No. It is because you went too, too far. Low. Yeah, too low. Yeah. yeah, you dipped down too low. That yeah. was too nah. Yeah. And, and 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 again, the the process and the journey of learning, like okay, that was too low, Jess. So yeah. this is what it can look like. It can look dressed up. Mm -hmm. It can even talk the language. Yeah. And it can have some sparks. But you need to look for that underline. Yeah. That yeah, underline look, is going to tell you what great. I tell people in. look for patterns, not potential. Yeah. You know, date date. You you make careful observation. It, this is this is not on skepticism and like people like oh you're skeptical like no. Patterns. Patterns tell you everything. Think about this. They knew where Ida was going to hit because of patterns. Mm -hmm. Science operates in patterns. We don't like to look at patterns because most of us create an idea mm -hmm. in our head. Yep. And when my supervisor used to tell me all the time when I was in grad school, Jay, the heart wants what it wants. Mm -hmm. So people will take their ideas, their fantasy, I'm going to fit this square peg into this round hole if it kills me. Yeah. I'm going to make this man it's a husband. It's me. It's me. I'm going to make it's him a husband. Me. I'm going to put this tuxedo. I am she. Look, I'm going to put this tuxedo <laughs> on this monkey, and he's going to go to prom, and he's going to be a king. It's me, man. I have a confession. My name is Jessica Reedy, and he just described me. <laughs> it's me. I'm her. I'm like, listen, hold on, hold on. No, we can Jess, fix this don't thing do it. Up. I, hold Jess, up, hold up. Don't do it. All I gotta do. Ah, don't do I'm it. Put you on a nice sweater. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm a hey. Okay, you boy, got some heart issues. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it. I, look, I know all about the heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's me, Jay. But, 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 but. My, my homeboy say all the time. You put this lipstick on this pig. It's still a pig. With lipstick on. With lipstick on. <laughs> No, it's me, Jay. For real? And the thing is, learning that about myself. Yeah. Is, now, what was that like for you to learn that about yourself? It hurt so bad. What hurt? What, 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 hurt, what hurt is the reality that it wasn't good. Got you. That's because good. I called it good. That's good. How can wanting to help somebody be bad? That's a great discovery. How can, can wanting to better your life be bad? And to see this as no longer good hurt me because my life has been this if i see somebody homeless what can i do yeah. if you need a car yeah. hey I, 
you I can get you a ride until we get there. You need money. Here's the money. If you're if you don't have furniture, I got furniture here. Yeah. I'll go buy me another couch to for you to sit down. Yeah. You telling me that that can be bad? Yeah. That I can be a, 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 a an enabler? I can mm-hmm. be a crippling uh a, a detriment to somebody. Yeah. yeah. That I that my good. Yeah. Literally, is harmful to somebody. Yeah. That epiphany, Jay, hurt me. Yeah, I it hurt sure my did. being. Yeah, that's all I am. Yeah, that's everything I am. That's my child. That's all I am. All my life, yeah. since I was a child, I can think of bringing homeless people to my mama house and she yelling at me in front of them. Yeah, don't bring these people to my house. And I'm like, why? You be praying. They need prayer. Yeah, <laughs> and, and not understanding. Yeah. And so to to now be a woman and go through all this pain and then say, I don't think this is good. There are those who on my level will see this as good. But when I go low, they don't yeah. see this as good. No. They need what helped you get here. Yeah. That rejection that hurt you got you yeah, here just good. That neglect. That helped you get here, Jessica. Yeah. That learning how to do this with God and just God, that helped you get here. So yeah. you throwing them a rope. Yeah. Making them escape all of the muscle work. They still mm-hmm. gonna come up with no muscle, Jessica. Yeah. So you're you're you are a detriment. You're basically cutting their legs. Yeah. It hurt me, man. Yeah. It hurt me so bad. But I think that's a that's a that's a great lesson that I think your audience will appreciate you sharing because so many times, you know, we are operating from a people pleaser syndrome, yeah. right? We're trying to please people or this overperformance. And, you know, I don't want to get too clinical, but I think a lot of times it's it's all connected to another place, right? A void. Mm-hmm. And we feel that I can fill it with this. If I just do good, if I just do, you know, uh, if I can just make sure that they're okay, and I think for so long, when we talked about self-preservation, even in our community, it was counted as, or it was viewed as self selfish. And I think self-preservation is a very healthy mm-hmm. perspective when it's managed, right, from the eyes that are viewing this. Like, what does this look like that I, the love I have for someone else can't exceed the love I have for myself? I agree. And I can't allow someone to take me to a place that is not healthy, that's not conducive, that's not productive, that's not purposeful, yeah. and to the point where it calls detriment to oh me and for the sake of them being okay. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of people struggle, even in therapy now, because the brain has been wired to perform from this position. But then but – then- It's like I agree and then I have a hesitation of accepting because for me, self-preservation, for my type of personality, you know, I have a, I have, God has put his light in me. It it shines. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a powerful authority God has on me. And when I think of myself too much, the human in me, Pats myself on the back. The human in me says, good job. And my self checks, let me tell you what I do. If I go to a restaurant and it's like, it could be doodle tissue everywhere in the bathroom. I pick it all up. Hear me? Clean it all up. I wipe down the counters. Me and my boys, we go to a restaurant. I'm cleaning off the table. Because this human in me, it it's it has this thing. It's selfish. And it costs it costs good, bad, and bad, good sometimes. And I'm like, and it feels right. Mm-hmm. I don't trust it no more. Yeah. And it, you know I, what I'm saying? That. It's like, I just don't trust me. Yeah. No. I don't care how much work I've done. I will never trust you, Jessica, again. Yeah. Like, I don't trust oh, you. Yeah. You be tricking me, girl. Just when we be right. You be, yeah. you go well, on I your think, own. I, I, I think that's also too, right? The the place where we have an understanding of even on our best days, we still need him. Yes. But that's that's where the humility lies, though. So so please, 
out of all of this healing, can you tell me the importance of having God? Oh, God, yes. As a man, Ooh, as yes. a woman, because right now they burning sage and that's their God. That is man, their spirit. Listen, wand. That's, I, I'm, I'm saying this right here. I'm not dating you and burning sage. I don't care. You can come after me. You can say whatever you want. I'm not doing it. Crystals, whatever. I'm not praying to no universe. I ain't manifesting nothing. I'm going to do what Habakkuk 2 and 2 says, write the vision on the wall and wait for it. Though it tarries, wait. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm standing on Amen. that. So I'm, I'm serious. Like, I, I see that, man. Like, this, this, this witchery and sorcery crap is running rampant. And again, do what you do, but I, I, that's not something I do. What not, one thing that burning. I say is, here's what I know to be true. I have seen some of the most evil people burning sage, and they did not run. So <laughs> it's like if sage is supposed to take off the evil spirits, man, and the please. evil spirit is the one man, saying, "I got to clear man, the air." Man, stop stinking up your house. It like, ain't it, working, like, man. It, it's, it's not. It's, it's they not are working. still there. It's it's almost. You know what it's like, <laughs> Jessica? It's, Jessica, it's almost like a placebo. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. I, I, I'm doing this because they said it gets rid of evil spirit and good energy. Your mind, listen, I'm in the, the psych world. Your mind can tell you. I've seen people. Oh, my gosh. We don't have enough time. Your brain can tell you anything mm -hmm. and make it real. Yes. In your life. And you have to be careful of receiving different messages and open your mind up to these different portals of, of practices and different things like that. I'm not with this new age spirituality. I I'm on, listen, my, my dad was a Baptist pastor. My mom was a assemblies of God. Like what I've raised on with their issues or whatever that was. But one thing that was true was the God they gave me was real. Yeah. And me and Letaris talk about this all the time. Like, you know, if you don't, and I want to say this because having God a part of your healing process is so important because there's things that are revealed yeah, man. to you that only he can reveal that the therapist would miss. There are times where I have received revelation in a session that I could not conceptualize in the case during that time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm a spirit led therapist and I'm not afraid to say that. I'm, you know, my education, I'm a PhD student. Like I can tell you anything about different models, but that's what I choose because there's times I don't know what a person needs. Mm -hmm. There was times that God had to literally speak to me during my healing journey. Mm -hmm. There were times where I was in a cave and he literally said, no, sit here longer yeah. and process this, yeah. sit here longer mm -hmm. and deal with this, deal with the rejection. I know it hurt. I talk about, you know, my, my breakup. Um, that I had three three years ago, and I remember asking God to stop it, to stop her. And he said, no, I need you to feel it. He said, this is not what I'm doing to you. It's what I'm doing through you. Ooh. And not understanding that he was preparing me for this season that I'm in now because I need you to remain humble. See, that was about humility. Because see, God, because see, pain is what God gives you to keep you from being arrogant. Mm -hmm. I'm telling that, you. That pain going to remind you. That's why I tell Ooh. people, I don't care how, what that pain will, because when you move into a place of empowerment, you have to be careful. Because empowerment can often bring a level of pride. Yes. A level of high minded. Yes. But that pain is going to keep you. It's going to do some, you know. It's going to keep you level. Here's what's crazy. Uh, the past relationship, right? Um, the, the door opened. When the window of heaven opened up, like stuff been happening that God told me would be happening. And I, I'm the type to keep it. You know, I conceal it. But I shared it with them. And I'm like, this is this is happening. And then this is about to happen. And then this. And then I got like some health things that came up. And I'm like, I can't be distracted with that. Because this is happening. And I know my flesh. But I'm like, nah, we're not about to even. So how Satan came was, if I can't get her with arrogance, if I can't get her with pride, 
I'm going to try again with this emotion because Jessica has always proven to be a very emotional person. Oh, my God. He's, that, if I, if he, I can distract that, this oh. girl because she's Same so into her me. feelings. Man. If I can distract this girl Man. because she's so mad or so hurt or yep. heartbroken broken or offended. Oh, Man. this is a wrap. Yep. Jessica will self sabotage Jessica will sit down on this chair and not leave for at least three years. Like, she's stuck. She's not going nowhere. But this time. I recognized the pattern. I said, my emotions are being heightened. I can feel them rising. This situation is familiar. Mm. I'm looking at a new face, but an old face. Oh. I know you. It became a, oh, you body hopping. <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh, Satan, you done body hop. Oh, so this is legit this time. Wow. Oh, it's about to pop off. All right, cool. I've waited. This season is here. I'm tired, though. You wear me out emotionally. I want to cry. This is sad. This is dark. Nope. I'm going to keep going. And and the, the, the process, Jay, of getting here, the process of learning the different definitions of pain. Because mm -hmm. cause pain used to humble me. Yeah. Until I stop, I'm like, flesh, forget you. You fail me, man. I can't stand you. You're so weak. You, you're just always giving right. in, man. So that ain't the tactic. Now, Same pain emotion. be doing something else. Yeah. Pain new agenda is hurt her in there. Yep. Poke that heart. Poke that heart. That girl right there, she gonna ooze out like goo. Yep. <laughs> like, yep. Just... I need a needle fine enough because she, she done built up these. She got a bear. She been guarding her heart now. Yeah. I need something fine enough to get right into that groove. There's a little groove there. Poke her right there. Watch her ooze. This time, it's, you know what I mean? Right. The Holy Spirit is, is, is navigating this thing. Right. It's an inside job. Yes, yeah, an inside and, job. The woman that I am, the woman that I'm becoming, the mother that I still desire to be, yeah. she needs this new woman. You know what I mean? This new woman I'm running into, and I want to recognize my husband. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to recognize him. I want to know the sound of healed for him. I want to know the look, the the essence, the presence, because I'm new here. Yeah, I'm new in this land. This land is brand new to me. I ain't never been and here. You, and you know, and you know how you would know his voice from his heart. Out of the heart flows the issues of life. Yeah. What so what? And you can always because one thing about an unhealed heart would tell on itself, mm -hmm. and a and a healed heart will show itself. It's just two different dynamics. An unhealed heart will tell on itself, and a healed heart will show itself. That's so good, man. And that healed heart will show you. That healed heart will not just present in presentation, but in function. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so that's why I like, you know, I always tell people that I'm not really concerned about titles mm -hmm. on, on any level. Because there's many people who have titles, but they don't function yeah. in the title. Mm -hmm. And so to be a wife without the title and you function as a wife says everything. Absolutely. And the vice versa for a husband. Uh, hence, you know, the scripture says he that find a wife. It's not saying you find her and you said, hey, you know, you're going to be a wife. No. And then she started acting like when right, she's already, exactly. she, she's, she's already, she's already in functioning and meaning that you didn't find her. You identified what you just said, because to hear that healed heart from your husband is I've identified that's his voice. Mm -hmm. And so that voice has a level of, has a decimal that doesn't sound like anything else that you've heard, yeah. but it's also soothing, right? It's also, uh, affirming, right? It, it, it's delicate, but at the same time, it's stern. You know, it's compassion, but it's also upright. You know, and so sure, it's it's man. all of those different. No. <laughs> so. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
So what's to look forward to? You know what I'm saying? That is so great. Yeah, and that's and that's what it is. And that is so great. Yeah, and that's what and that's what God has has given me and shown me even through this journal because I've watched women heal for years. You know, I've I've watched women go to conferences. I've watched women, you know, go to Woman Thou Art Loose, uh, Women Woman Evolve. You know, I've I've seen women go through all these different things, and I'm just like, man, where are the men? Because it does no good if you have it's women who are healed, healed woman waiting, why waiting, just waiting, and you have these broken, unhealed men. Yeah, because when you heal the man, you heal the family. When you heal the man, you heal the family. It's true. Because that man is carrying seed; he's mm-hmm. carrying generations, and Believe it or not, people, trauma, dysfunction, all of these things are passed down through DNA. It's inherited. Yes, it is. It's inherited. And so it's so important for those that are watching, you know, uh, is, and I want to make sure I, I echo this, you are not the savior of any brother. You can, because I had to tell one woman, I said, you can't help a man heal. You can support him in his healing process, mm-hmm. but you cannot help him heal. That's good, Jay, because Jay, Jay, I, I'm Jay say is that hard again. for me, Jay. I'm going to oh, say this Jay again. Jay is hard for me, man. Let, 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 Terrence, let this be the excerpt. <laughs> you cannot help a man heal, but you can support his healing process. Yeah. Because I don't know how healthy it is to stand with someone who's bleeding on you. Yeah. How do you function? I'm going to tell you, my motivation, when I went through all my dark, my darkness, Mm -hmm. the the loneliness, the desire for people to help me, can't you see I'm hurting? Look at me. Look in there. Look. Don't let the smile fool you. I'm in pain. And nobody could see it. Nobody would hear it. It was like God turned everybody deaf and dumb. Hello. No family could help me. They were mean. They were, it was crazy. It was a crazy time in my life. But it made me. I forget what has made me. And I start to say, I don't want you to experience that. Yeah. Hey, yeah, but that's friend. not yours to carry. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that's not yours to carry. I think, and I yeah, went through man. the same thing. And, uh, you know, after my second suicide attempt, like, literally, it was like a, a clear voice. God literally said to me, and I've told this story several times. He, he he said to me that I won't save you next time that you try. You will succeed. I, that was my first message. And he said, there is healing available. And there is life outside of this, Jay, but you have to trust me. And I think. We have to encourage people, as uh, Bishop Jakes preached a message, get your own oil. Like, because there's a level of appreciation that you have when you go through your process. And what I've had to learn is to be okay when I have to release somebody to go through their process. Because the helper in me, and because I know I'm a healer, the healer in me, because I had to carry my mom and carry my sister, the healer in me is like, no. Let me help. Let me help. But I remember my therapist saying to me, how long will you continue to injure yourself while helping others? That's so good, Jay. He said hey, that Jay, to me. Hey, Jay. I went and got healed, man. These little scrounges then broke me up. <laughs> like, hey, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Yeah. It's like the doctors who, who go in there to, to help you, and it's a violent patient. Yeah. And they end up beat up and sore and cut up. And they're like, well, who cut you, doc? You. The cut dog on patient that's yeah. bleeding. Yeah. And and I, first off, hey, man, hey, you good. Give me some right here. <laughs> hey, 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 don't get none on you. Huh? Yeah. This is great. <laughs> No, for real. Like I, this is good, yeah. Jay. I mean, and that's, and that's Jessica, that's why I'm, I'm on this mission with Jess here, bro. Because yes. women like yourself, uh, you're now showing up to the world as an answer instead of showing up to the world with your problem. Mm-hmm. And it's so, because now his life has changed forever. 
because I saw mom go through the process yeah. to deconstruct, but then to build something again from a positive, mm -hmm. from a healthy, from a functioning yeah. place. Now your sons have an opportunity to now choose women according not to what their mom were, was, but mm -hmm. to who their mom became. Yes. Because that's the beauty of this. You are becoming. Mm -hmm. That's why I say healing. It's a journey. Mm -hmm. It's a journey because you'll get in a healthy relationship and then it'll still be a journey because you have to make adjustments. Mm -hmm. But now you can identify what's healthy. Yeah, it's, you can it's giving, getting the tools. You, you have the tools. I have the tools. That's I said so often, wonderful. I said, when you don't have the tools, and you only are limited or you are, have a limited set of tools and you only have a hammer, everything around you looks like a nail. That's it. Oh, hey, hey. And so, hey, <laughs> hey, oh, oh, hey, Jay. hey. So, and you go around hitting everything. Yeah, man. And everything doesn't need a hammer. Everything don't need to get your fellow screwdriver sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, little like, wrench sometimes, just a little ranking up. You know, huh? a little plier. A <laughs> little plier, huh? Look, little monkey glue. That's it. You know, little gorilla, gorilla glue. glue. <laughs> yeah, gorilla glue. Oh, Don't put man. it in your hair, though. Oh, I'm, God. I'm sorry, y'all, but yeah. But but no, Um, so you're now working from a place where you are on the other side of it. You know, mm -hmm. I had a brother that asked me the other day, and he said, um, he says, Jay, man, what is it like to be on this other side? I said, man, freedom. Yeah, it is. I said, it's free, man. I said, I'm not bound by my dad issues, my mom's stuff. Like, I've <sighs> dealt with it. And it allows yeah. me to show up fully as myself. Absolutely. And then it also allows me to be unapologetic about my authenticity. Because so many times we are apologizing for even being authentic yeah. and being real. Because we live in such a world that real is rare, authentic is kind of, you know, you know, what's that? Yeah, they, um, they I've gotten for being nice. Yeah. Cause I'm I love it. I'm just that's who I am. I've gotten you weird, you strange, yeah. what's wrong with you? That's fake. Yeah. I'm like, how long you been negative? How long yeah. you been like like this? Because yeah. no, this is actually good. Like yeah. there are people that want to see you win. There yeah. are people that yeah. want to contribute to your path of Man. growing. There are people that have accumulated enough to share. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? And they're not stingy. You must yes. be around stingy people. Yep. You're in the pot with the crabs. Yeah. It's, I'm it's, not. You know what I mean? You know, and that's why I think when it, I mean when you think about, you know, the black race. We never had time to heal. We were never given this process of what healing looks like. We were never given the space to heal. Mm -hmm. We were never given the uh, tools to heal. I mean, you think about it. Now, all of a sudden, white people are thinking about black people in mental health. You know, when I was in grad school, mental health was made for white people, Anglos. There, there, there's very few studies about blacks. And so hmm. a lot of the traumas that we're dealing with, right, you you take, you know, if your grandparents, I mean, it's only 60 years from the civil rights movement. So you take our grandparents projecting their stuff onto, and they were kids of who had parents during the Great Depression. So you take what they projected onto our parents and what our parents projected onto us, and now we are working through that. Yeah. And so that healing, uh, it, it's it's heavy work, but as I tell most of uh, 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 all of the people of color, man, it's necessary. It's necessary. It's, and for us to give our it's children cool. something new to pursue rather than living in fear, uh, living through passivity, uh, living with all of this trauma. You know, we, we come from a generation of secrecy and all these different things have really burdened us because most of us can't even show up ourselves. This is true. You, it, you look at us who are first generation success, right? It, you know, cause success can be traumatizing if you're black because you look around others who may not be there and who now view you. Who do you think you are? That's traumatizing yeah. because you like, Hey, I thought y'all would be happy for me. Yeah. And so it's so much to really, you know, it's process. so many, it's new layers to it's it. Exactly, new layers. Which is why, um, and I and we've spoken on it, but just accumulating those tools because you don't use them one time. Yeah, 
you, you just need them because yeah. you're going to have to keep on making the adjustments. Yeah. You're going to have to keep on applying. All right. So though pain has taken a new definition, when I experienced this, let me just read the writing on the wall. I've graduated from the arrogant part of my flesh, but now I think I'm still sensitive right here because of my connection with people. All right. Let's grow there. Yeah. Now let me take a, a wider view of where I'm ranking. Mm -hmm. How low did you go? That was too low. All right. Take the accountability for your, your own actions, Jessica. You went too low. Now let's move forward. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and just having these tools and having this kind of book, which has all what you just said in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is something that is accessible to everybody. Yes. Yes. It's accessible to everybody. It's available on Amazon. And believe it or not, I am working on a Jess Hill Sis. So that's wonderful. Okay. Yes. This is wonderful. So I'm going to uh, have a big ask okay. from you. Oh, what do you I have? want you to contribute to Jess Hill Sis. Okay. Yes. I would like that. That would be wonderful. Yes. I would love to. Yes. I would love that. I don't have a Jess Hill Sis. Um, I'm, no, writing, I, I'm writing a book. You know, the girls. You no. know, the girl kind of smart, Jay. Give yeah. me something right there because you agree <laughs> with me. Amen. I would love that. I yes. think that would be fantastic. And I think, I, uh, you know, I don't, I mean, the forward. I want you to do the forward. That'd be great. Yes, I that'd want be, you to do the forward. That'd be great and easy. Because I think there's something that you can say to the women that want to pick up that book um, that will help them usher in or foster into that space of healing. Because, you know, social media has made healing all of a sudden. It's weird, it's, man. It, it, it ain't it's, real. So it's, it's almost like it's popular, but it's like it's the wrong. Like it's, healing is not what y'all think it is. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you basically eliminating your circle, making your circle small. It's like, oh, they don't, they don't fool with you. If they don't agree with you, leave. But what if they saying the truth? Yeah. No, nah, yeah. don't leave because it hurt. If it's the truth, have them people closer. Yep. If you have people in your life that are, that are not afraid to face all your demons, face you square eyed and say, look at right. here, I don't care who say yes, this is a no. Yeah. This is not, yeah. you want them people. You don't yes. want the yes people. My son, we just talked about this. I said, mommy walks alone. Yeah. Because if you're not saying what will help me, be a better me, but you, you, you pom -pom in me and you celebrate everything I do. And I know everything I'm doing ain't right. Yeah. Come on, man. Check me. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah. me I'm wrong here. Yes. Hold me accountable here so I can call you friend. Yep. That's exactly. That's, you get what that's I'm what saying? It is. So yeah, I and that's would real love community. To. I would, yes. I would love to. Yes. I am so proud of you, black yes. man. Yes. Thank you. Oh thank my you, God. Queen. I'm so proud of you. Thank I'm not you. kidding. Thank hey, you. hey, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Way to go. Yes, thank you. And I and, and I am proud of you because I've watched you over the past years and just to see where you are now with this podcast and just to see that your healing is bringing healing to other women. Just you living your truth. You know, I, you know, when I was in practice a couple of years ago, I worked with a lot of women in high, high up jobs and just they weren't able to really be open and be honest. And, and I just think about had they not had the space with me being a black male therapist, how would that have happened? And so everybody's not going to go to therapy. Yeah. And maybe your podcast is therapeutic for them yeah. to bring them understanding and clarity and yeah. insight. And so I salute you, Thank you. for being uh, just representation of what healing looks like. Thank you. And healing is, is it's, it's more than just, you know, the superficial pictures that what we see online. It's really, it's, real. it's, it's showing your scars, but also showing how you live beyond them. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yes. Look, hey, I'm very happy. Yes. Uh, we had a rocky, a rocky start, Jay. Oh, I wasn't worried about it. I well, was we, cool. we had a rocky start, Jay. Let's acknowledge. We had yeah, a rocky yeah. start. You, yeah, it was rocky. You didn't like my hugs. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. I loved it. Hey, yes, I loved it. Good. It was great. This is a great episode. All right. So... As you all know, um, I'm going to do my little ditty after this, but I am so grateful for you. I think this episode went just as it should. Um, things that you said for man and for woman is, is it's a breath of fresh air. It's going to help. And if you've been able to articulate that into book, where, because everybody can have you in their back pocket. Like, yeah. let me pull out my J. Yeah. Jay, what do you think about this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, on the terrace. Don't have like. an answer? 
pull out your yeah. J. You know what I mean? <laughs> but to be able to to have a book, um, a go to guide, I'm grateful that you've done this because I'm 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 getting me more ready. Yes. I want a husband. God allows me to see the day that I don't have to prep up like a puppet. Yeah. And say, look, look, babe, look what that hand can do. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, baby, it can grab things. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I, no, I more really, no more projects. No more projects. No more projects. I don't want to help. No, like no I want him to come from a good family. Yeah. At least, like it, at least have built you a new family. If the one you were birthed in ain't right, at least you yeah. got some new people. It's like, yeah. I don't want that no more, Jay. Thank you for helping my future. Thank you for helping my children yes. see their mother with someone that is suitable for the woman that I am and becoming. Thank you for caring about me. Yes. I know it's for y'all, but it's for me. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank I'm you. grateful. I love this. All right, y'all stay tuned. We're getting ready. I'm very happy. I'm so happy, Jay. This is great. All right. All right. I'm coming back with the ditty. Y'all stay tuned. Stay right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Lil Diddy. It's been a while since I've done it. I'm so excited, yet I'm nervous. All right, so here we go. I'm here on this road to heal. Heal from the pain inside. I hope that you're doing the same. Growing from every dark and night Cause I deserve to see you healed You deserve to see you healed And I deserve to see me healed You deserve to see me healed and We deserve to be together yeah, we deserve to love the right way. I deserve you, babe. And you deserve me, babe. So look, we got to do it. We got to heal. You have to heal. I have to heal. And this is an ongoing journey. It doesn't stop. It's not a destination that we're going to reach, but it's a constant pursuit. Because life will continuously happen. But if you have the right tools, I have the right tools, and we keep applying these tools no matter the upgrade that needs to happen, then when you meet me, I'm going to be healed for that level. <laughs> and when I meet you, I pray you'll be healed. And individually, we can keep applying what we learn from the struggle what we learn from the pain, what we learn from the experiences of the past. And we can keep growing, help each other grow, glean from one another, iron sharpening iron. I'm not afraid to learn from you. I'm not afraid to apologize when I'm wrong. And I hope you are not afraid to learn from me. And I hope you are not afraid to apologize when you're wrong. So let's do this thing. Level, level, level. All right, that's not my song. But all right, y'all, until next time, I thank you, Jay, so much for coming on the show. Y'all get ready. It's going to be good. See you next time.